Hi there, time for another game review and we're going to look at a Mega Drive game this time or more specifically a Genesis game. The game is called Crossfire. There's the cover for it. We'll take a look at the packaging in a bit more detail in a second. Let's take a look at the fact file. Crossfire was also known as Super Airwolf in Japan. It was released in 1991 in the USA. Published by Kayugo and developed by AI Company. Price I paid was £4.99, that's for a box copy but with no instructions. And the current going rate on eBay for a box complete copy of the US version is about £15 to £20 and about £25 plus for the Japanese Super Airwolf version if you prefer that. So let's take a look at the packaging and the game. Let's take a little look at the front cover then. As you can see we've got the Genesis logo and the Crossfire logo there and a big explosion with an army soldier running away from it. That's pretty much it for the front cover, pretty nondescript stuff. Game name and Genesis logo on the spine there and on the back we've got uh, the Genesis logo again and a big helicopter and this tagline, crash them to pieces. Most exciting games, Crossfire is number one. Bit of a bad English translation from the Japanese I suspect there. No other information about what the game's about other than these three screenshots which as you can see they look like there's a bit of vertical scrolling shooter action going on there and the copyrights and things and that's about it not a very exciting box art at all really so here we have that helicopter from the front cover or the back of the box in fact uh, firing some bullets at the screen and then we've got the game logo there with some nice flames behind it and a nice eagle as well a bit of music going on in the background or there was but it's gone into a game demo now which as you can see shows a helicopter vertically scrolling up the screen shooting some stuff we'll get back to that in due course so options are fairly limited level we'll just stick with normal number of players you can have up to five, but we'll just stick with three. Controls, you've got shot, bomb and turbo. And rapid fire on or off, that's quite a useful option. It means I can hold down the A button to shoot rather than having to keep hammering away at it. So let's get on with the game. So you've got this introduction, you've got this rather dapper looking gentleman in his tuxedo and his bow tie and uh, he's giving you a bit of information Billy has decided to give you and Black Eagle to return to battle again again we've got the bad English translation we want you to rescue the hostages who were captured well obviously otherwise they wouldn't be captured or hostages and taken to the enemy hideout yeah so you've got to rescue some hostages we will pay the guaranteed fee if you make a success let's hope I can make a success and you get to choose which hideout you're going to raid first. There's three to choose from. Uh, unsurprisingly, they've got different amounts of prize money and that sort of indicates the difficulty of which one you go for. So we're going to go with the easy one to start with, which is A. There it is in much more detail on the map. And he's back again. Hope you make a success. Good luck. So let's see if we can make a success of this. Uh, you do get some options here for choosing your weapons. There aren't actually any to choose from them. What happens is when you collect cash and stuff within the game, you can come back and buy stuff uh, to improve your weapons for later levels. So basically I've only got one different type option for each one at the moment. So uh, it'll be the Vulcan shot, the Hurricane Bomb and the Machine Gun. I've also got one call and one turbo. So as you saw there, mission A is in Guatemala. That flashed up on the screen pretty quickly. Obviously another bad English translation there. And the helicopter's off into battle and as you've already seen, it's a vertically scrolling shoot em up. The screen also scrolls quite a distance left and right. Uh, so you've got a standard sort of machine gun weapon which gets rid of most things including the ground based targets. There are also smart bob type weapons. Which I'll just show one of here just so you can see what it looks like. There you go. There's a the smart bomb. Uh, 
And there's also what's called a turbo, which kind of makes you invulnerable for a few seconds and fly around really quickly. Uh, that's a stealth bomber dropping me some power-ups. That's now giving me four lots of machine gun fire instead of two, which just means I can deal out a bit more damage. Pretty straightforward stuff. Nothing too challenging so far. Just sort of swing from side to side, blasting everything in your path. Try not to get shot, there's very few bullets anyway, so it's not too difficult at this point, hopefully. The first thing I say about my enemy is he's got a lot of helicopters. I've never seen this many helicopters unleashed against one single helicopter with absolutely no benefit. Um, the, the graphics are pretty bland, they're, they're alright, there's some jungle there and some sea which isn't very well animated, there's about three frames of animation there on that sea. Uh, so that's the end of the first part of the level. As you can see the helicopter is now coming in to land. And the second part of the stage, you're down at ground level doing a sort of strafing run with the helicopter uh, against the level that you'll ultimately be walking along with a soldier in a second. So the idea is to blast as much stuff as possible so that he doesn't have to blast it and it makes it easier for him. Uh, the helicopter is massive. Definitely not with scale with the guys that were running around on the ground there. And then you basically do the same level again as I said with uh, your soldier guy who even when you put him towards the bottom of the screen has no face. Uh, he's got about three frames of animation as well. This is like, I don't know, Commodore 64 shoot up construction kit le uh, level of animation on this game. It's not good. So, oh, I got killed. I exploded. Didn't just get shot, I exploded. Uh, so the, the idea is you make your way to the top of this level, which as I said is exactly the same level that you've already gone up once in the helicopter. So you do wonder why I didn't just drop the guy at the top of the level, really. But the idea is shoot, shoot the soldiers, try not to get shot. Uh, you can throw grenades, I think. Oh no, you can jump up in the air. This is a bit of a strange one. So you, you can jump up and shoot at stuff like that. And you do also have a kind of a smart bomb, which I'll save to the end of the stage. For where it'll be coming in most useful. So it's kind of like Commando Ikari Warriors style game. Just run up the screen and shoot. Run, cl similar, uh, classic sort of run and gun thing. Get the words out. And this is the end of this bit of the stage. As you can see there's a tank going backwards and forwards there. He's not actually shooting at me yet. What I'm going to do is gradually edge onto the screen. It doesn't seem to be doing any kind of damage at all there. So what I'm going to do is unleash my smart bomb which is... The guy crouched on the floor and the helicopter comes back and you can just shoot at, at it and blow it up pretty straightforward. That's it. So those graphics were terrible in that part of the level. In particular the animation was bad. So now I'm inside a building where I've got to rescue some hostages. There's some barrels to shoot. There's some soldiers to shoot. The same badly animated soldiers you've just seen. There's also some coins to pick up as you just saw. There's some walls to shoot through. There's some guys trying to fire uh, missiles at me there as well. But they're not very difficult to get rid of either. And there's a hostage which I will rescue. That was just a random thing to shoot. Just this guy to get rid of. Somewhere. There we go. Kind of walls to blast through and then again at the back here somewhere there we go is the way out and that was it for that level or should say that part of the level then the helicopter takes off again and we're back at the vertically scrolling shoot em up stage but now there's a endless supply of fighter jets coming after me instead most of which you can just avoid if you want to They just fly underneath me. And when the fighter jets aren't doing any good, he's going to send biplanes after me, whoever this uh, 
evil bosses that I'm uh, fighting against. Oh, one of them got me. Whoops. There goes my power up. Oh, and there goes another life as well. That was rubbish. Right, so let's continue. Although you're probably already getting the idea that I'm not a fan of this game. Oh, for Christ's sake. It does have this problem that if you don't position yourself in the right place on the screen, it's very difficult to get back down the screen. I'm pretty much just stuck at the right hand side here at the moment. Oh, Well, this is not going well. At least I got down from the right hand side of the screen. So it's more of the same from the uh, first part of the level. Some more power-ups to pick up. Let's use a bomb there. Oh, I've activated the turbo there as well. This is the turbo, you can just fly, fly around and crash into stuff. The power-ups kind of float away from you as well. It's annoying. Got some quite serious firepower now though. This is somebody who needs a bomb firing against them, I believe. Oh, and they've dropped some, I don't know, notes or cash or something. Oh, they're annoying. Is that another game over? Oh, I'm doing rubbish here. I bet it sends me right back to the beginning now, yeah. Let's see if I can do a little bit better this time, because so far I've been rubbish. Oh, there goes another life. Very unfair with where how the things fly towards you. Best approach is pretty much just to stay in the middle, I think. Here come those power-ups again. Oh, you are joking me. I mentioned really, I mentioned the graphics briefly in that they're rubbish for the most part. This level's not too bad, but the other, the, the ground-based level is awful. Gets rid of him again. Uh, but the, um, the sound's pretty terrible and as well. The music's not too bad, but the explosions are really over loud and a bit robotic sounding. And then the flip side of that is you've got the bullets which are very pathetic sounding. So all in all the sound's a bit rubbish. Um, it's all a bit rubbish to be honest. It's a very bland, kind of boring game. Once you identify the enemy attack patterns, it's not too difficult to get through either. Although I'm doing my best to crash into these annoying little things. What's happening now? More power-ups? Got that for machine gun fire now. I assume we're getting quite close to the end here. Oh, here's the end of level boss. So let's deploy the turbo and just hammer into him. So there's a big blasting uh, plane at the end there, not too difficult to get rid of. And that was the end of the first stage. Took a little while to get through it, more than I was anticipating. I thought I would get through that quite easily as I have done in the past. Good job, it's a promise. He's back again. Let me pay the guaranteed fee. Go on then. So I get $10,000 for all that action, plus 5,000 that I picked up throughout the course of the game. That then allows me to buy some stuff in a second, but first I have to choose which hideout I'm going to raid next. So I think it's fairly safe to go for the next highest level one, which is 30,000 if I complete it, which I'm sure that I won't. back again hoping I make a success once again let's get on with it man so now you can do some shopping as I mentioned for some uh, extra weapons and ammunition uh, you can get stuff for the helicopter or stuff for Billy who's a guy who's running around putting his life at risk so I can protect him for 35,000 okay maybe not then 
Uh, guns, can't afford any of them. I'm guessing I can't afford a, an extra life either, nope. So what about the Black Eagle? Oh, press the wrong button there. Shot, nope. Bomb, oh I can afford the Typhoon Bomb. Well let's buy it because it's about the only thing I seem to be able to buy. Okay, so done with the arms shopping. So now I've got the choice of Hurricane or Typhoon Bombs. Let's go for the Typhoon, stick with the machine gun. And away we go to Cuba for stage two. And it's more of the same. Uh, as I mentioned before, the C animation is terrible and this really does make your eyes hurt. It's kind of flashing on and off. That's supposed to be the waves of the sea, but it's utterly garbage. Same music on this level as well. Oh, there's a the typhoon bomb. That's not very good. That's worse than the one I already had. Endless swarms of helicopters being unleashed against me again. I don't even know what that was that was shooting me now, it's on the floor. What am I going to get off the stealth bomb this time? Oh, a turbo this time. Ooh, I might need that. These guys look annoying. I'm running out of space to hide in there, yeah, I got a shot. Got a couple more credits left, so I may as well try and continue through as much as I can. But as always, it sends you right back to the beginning. Annoyingly, now I've got no power ups either. This is going to be even more difficult. The sound keeps going off. The music kept going off then. This is awful. What is going on? Oh, I've respawned right at the side of the screen where I can immediately get blown up. Yeah, the, basically the sound's gone off now, the music, for no apparent reason. This is quite, it's actually still there very faintly in the background. The game's lost the plot a bit, I think. And there goes another life, and that's another credit gone. So on to the last one, let's get there over with. I've already seen enough. It's a, not a very pretty game, not a very fun game, not a very nice sounding game, although the music's back. No, it's gone again. Bizarre. And uh, yeah, it's just not very much fun. And definitely one for the for sale pile. As soon as I finish this final credit, see if I can get any further this time. Really don't know what happened to the music. Just unleash the turbo, just try and get to the end of this stage and see what comes next. I have a pretty good idea what's going to come next. The uh, music's gone all over the place, I don't know what's happened there. Bit of a weapon power up there. But it's a very bland vertically scrolling shooter followed by a very bland vertically scrolling shooting bit again followed by a really terrible run and gun section and on it goes it's really not a great game perhaps the reason it wasn't called super airwolf in america was because they didn't want to associate this dreadful game with the airwolf name which i can fully understand so let's just finish it off Got a few lives left, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot about this bit. I don't think you can be destroyed on this strafing mission thing, by the way. It's just, well, largely pointless. Because most of the enemies and turrets respawn anyway when you replay the level on foot. So it's all a bit of a waste of time. There we go. That was it. As I said, everything's come back. Oh, something shot me. I don't really care.
Oh, I don't even see what shot me then. Unsurprisingly, probably something. What was going on there? No, oh, I'm dead. And not soon enough. So there you go, terrible game. And that will be going definitely on the for sale pile. Hopefully the next game I review will be a bit more fun. If you only knew the power of the dark side. Two, one, zero.